Hi, I'm Ishun. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are a salaried employee, whatever the income that you are earning, you need to hear this. The last day to file income tax returns is approaching. If you fail to file your income tax return, then you need to pay a penalty up to 5000 rupees. So it's better to file income tax returns, even though you are earning less than 5 lakhs per annum. It is always advisable to file your ITR because it will help you in the long run. So if you want to pursue your master or if you want to go abroad or your work or your studies, whatever it might be. So you will get many benefits for filing ITR. Why one should file income tax return? So in general, if you fall in the tax bracket, like if you are earning more than 5.7 lakhs per annum, then you will fall in the tax bracket. So income tax bracket, which means you need to pay an income tax. And you don't need to bother about that because there is a term called TDS. Your employer, whatever the company that you're working, so they will deduct tax from your salary before you receive that salary. So you're paying tax, that's fine. You might ask me like, I'm already paying tax in the form of TDS. My employer is already deducting the money. Then uh, why do I need to file this income tax return? So income tax return, the name itself, if the excess tax is deducted from your salary, then if you file ITR, you will get the refund for the excess amount. But yeah, you can, again, you can say like, I don't need refund, so I don't want to file ITR, but you still need to file income tax as a mandatory because according to Income Tax India, every individual who falls in the tax bracket needs to file ITR. It, even people who are earning less than the income tax bracket, still it is advisable to file ITR. It only takes less than five minutes. If, but if you are paying income tax, then you definitely need to file ITR. So there are some problems associated with filing ITR. Every time when uh, the last date is approaching, we contact CAs, we approach many different websites who charge some money from us to file ITR. But if you watch this video, you can do that every time. You don't need to consult CA every time. You don't need to go for uh, these ITR brokers every time because it's a waste of time. So it's a waste of time and money as well. So all you have to do is find the link in the description. So once you click the link in the description, you will see this website. So in this website, you need to register. So if you are a first, if you are browsing this website for the first time, then you need to register your account. So registration is simple. You just need to provide your PAN or other and you will you need to set up a password and you will get a OTP verification that's it uh, it's it hardly takes a minute to register your account so if you already have an account you can directly log in by using your pan so once you have created an account you need to select the current year 2022 to 2023 and it will also ask you to select which kind of itr that you want to find there are four types of itr itr one two three four so if you are earning less than 50 lakhs per annum i believe most of the audience that are watching this video are earning less than 50 lakhs per annum through job then ultimately you can to click itr1 if you click itr1 it will again ask you which mode that you want to use you need to select online mode so that's simple then you can directly proceed and file your itr if you are into a tax bracket income tax is being directed in the form of tds every month then you need to download form 26 years you can do that by click by clicking menu e-files and you can see income tax return and under income tax return you will see view form 26 as you can download that so what actually is form 26 as it will it will consist of every type of income that you are getting so that it might be job income if you are if you are also earning through other sources like interest based income and if you are investing you will get some profits there it will also get covered here you need to make sure you have form 26 as beside you before filing idea because you need to cross verify which is wrong and which is correct if everything is matched then you can directly proceed and if something is wrong in the ITR and you can cross verify with form 26AS and you can correct based on that. So it is how you need to use form 26AS because form 26AS contains all the income details that you are earning and that you are earning from your job and you are earning from other sources and interest based income everything. It will cover everything related to you. So you need to have form 26 handy with you so that you can cross verify with ITR website and if everything is right you can proceed to ITR filing. So once the ITR filing is done, so it will be under process for a few days. If you are eligible for any refund, it will refund your amount and or else like if you need to pay anything extra, it will also show you to pay. And if everything is matched, then it will show zero as liability. So you don't need to pay anything. Make sure you download the form 26 years because it is essential. But yeah, it is how you need to file ITR and mostly people will trust online websites to do this and pay thousands but you don't need to do that you can do yourself manually you just need to understand things that's it 
so having form 26 as will really helpful so make sure you download that and you file itr based on that i hope it would be helpful if you feel someone else would benefit from this video please share this video in your network also if you are a new visitor to my channel please subscribe to my channel thank you